Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to perform an offline activation of SDL Trados Studio 2014 using the product activation wizard. The product activation wizard is part of your installation. You can use the offline activation function if you have problems connecting to the internet and are unable to connect to the SDL activation server. To start SDL Trados Studio 2014, go to Start, All Programs, SDL, and SDL Trados Studio 2014. When you first install SDL Trados Studio 2014 and the product activation wizard appears, you will receive a 30 day trial. This will disappear once your license has been activated. This trial will only appear if you have never previously had SDL Trados Studio 2011. Click Activate to start activating the license. Click on Alternative Activation Options. This allows you to activate your license without having to connect to the internet. Then click on Offline Activation. You will then need to generate an offline activation certificate. Copy the installation ID using the copy icon. I then need to log into my SDL account to generate the certificate. Once you have logged into the SDL My Licenses section, you will see all of the licenses that you have purchased. Click the plus symbol next to the title of the license to see the license details for that product. To generate your offline activation certificate, Click on Can't Activate Online, Get an Online Activation Certificate. You will see that the activation code box is filled in. Paste in the installation ID in the box using the clipboard option. Once this is done, you can click on Generate Offline Activation Certificate. You can copy the certificate using the copy icon and the certificate will also be sent to you in an email. I then need to switch back to the product activation wizard. Paste the activation certificate into the activation certificate box using the paste option. You then need to get your activation code from your my account. And this can be pasted into the activation code box using the paste icon. Once this has been completed you can then click on activate. The wizard will then authenticate your activation code and you will receive a confirmation when the activation is successful. Click on OK to close the dialog box. If your activation code is not valid, an error message will appear. You can now see in the Active License section the version that you have. You can also check this by going back to the My Licenses section of your account. If I refresh the page, you can see that my in-use column now shows as 1 and my available column now shows as 0. So now I know if I need to install my software on another machine, I will need to deactivate it first. If you have problems activating your license offline, you will need to follow a different process. Information on this can be found by going to the My Support area in your account. Then click Go underneath the SDL Knowledge Base. If you click on Browse KB, you can access articles specifically for licensing by clicking the Licensing folder in the left hand navigation pane. From here, you can search for articles to help with the issue you are having. Thanks for watching how to activate a license using the offline activation function. For extra information on returning licences, please review the help documentation.